Hi, I'm Ermina Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people find optimum health via a whole food plant-based diet. Today I want to talk about fiber. Fiber is not one of those glamorous topics. It's not something that we're excited to talk about and it's not a catchy, trendy thing, but fiber is so important. To me, in fact, fiber is one of the most vital nutrients you need to make sure you get enough of in your diet. Did you know that 97% of Americans are deficient in one single nutrient? That nutrient is fiber. Despite its popular association with frequent trips to the restroom, fiber is no joke. The benefit of a high fiber diet is huge and unprecedented. A meta-analysis study published in 2015 demonstrated a statistically significant association between a high fiber diet and all-cause mortality. That's huge! Basically, they found that fiber intake decreases your chance of dying from any cause. They also found that your risk of dying decreases 10% for every 10 grams per day increase in fiber. So recent studies show that only 3% of Americans get the recommended daily amount of fiber. That's only 3 out of every 100 people get enough fiber in their diet. Why is this? And how can most of America be so profoundly deficient in this one important nutrient? What are the consequences of being fiber deficient? Well, we know inadequate fiber intake is linked to many digestive issues such as constipation, diverticulosis, and diverticulitis. We also know that inadequate fiber intake is linked to colon polyp formation, which can eventually lead to colon cancer. To me, most importantly, when you don't get enough fiber, you have an unhealthy microbiome. You have no fiber to feed your gut bacteria, and that's what they live on. To learn more about the microbiome, check out my other videos specifically on this topic. In addition to this, being fiber deficient results in weight gain or inability to achieve weight loss, poor blood sugar control, and an increased risk of dying from any cause. So how much fiber is recommended? Well, the Institute of Medicine recommends women get 25 grams of fiber per day and men get 38 grams per day. There's even some experts, myself included, that recommend 40 to 50 grams a day. That's a lofty goal, seeing as how the average American gets 15 grams a day. And the average person on a low-carb diet, like the Atkins dieter, only gets 10 grams or less daily. Remember, meat and dairy products like egg and milk and cheese, they contain zero grams of fiber. So there's two types of fiber, soluble and insoluble. Both types have a specific role and are necessary for optimal health. Soluble fiber dissolves in water to create a gel-like material. This is the stuff that's responsible for lowering cholesterol, preventing heart disease, and stabilizing blood sugar levels. Examples of soluble fiber include oats, peas, beans, apples, citrus fruits, carrots, barley, psyllium. Insoluble fiber, in contrast, passes through the small intestine largely unaltered and then goes to feed the bacteria in the colon. These are our prebiotics. Insoluble fiber also increases stool bulk and promotes the movement of stool through your digestive tract. Insoluble fiber is beneficial for those with dysbiosis, constipation, or irregular stools. Examples of foods containing insoluble fiber are nuts, beans, vegetables such as cauliflower, green beans, potatoes, whole wheat flour, wheat bran, and inulin. One word of caution, and this is super important. If you watch this video and you make the decision to increase the fiber in your diet, do so carefully. Trust me, you do not want to go from a fiber intake of zero to 40 grams all at once. This will wreak havoc on your gut. Your body and your gut bacteria are not used to processing and fermenting so much fiber. As a result, there's going to be side effects like increased gas, bloating, constipation, and cramping. I recommend you increase your fiber intake by 5 grams per day until you reach your goal. I also recommend you drink plenty of water with that. If you eat a bunch of fibrous food and you have no water for it to absorb, you might as well be swallowing a cork, if you get what I mean. You may be asking, why not take a fiber supplement? Then maybe I don't have to work so hard to achieve my recommended fiber intake for the day. Metamucil, easy, right? Studies show that you lose many of the health benefits when you take a fiber supplement. So always work to get your fiber from whole foods like legumes, whole grains, vegetables, and fruit. So we need quite a bit of fiber daily, and we have to make conscious dietary choices in order to obtain that goal. Are you up to the fiber challenge? Will you work with me to get that fiber daily? I'll be sharing my regimen and how I get my fiber, but I want to know how you get yours. Please let me know what your strategies are in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, and please check out my other videos on how to get enough fiber, which foods are best for more information on increasing your fiber intake and achieving optimum health.
Aloha.